Hey YouTube, so this is a video that might not stay online for a long time. Uh, I might delete it. I just want to do it because I've been consuming a lot of media recently. I think most, most people have. And um, some people on this channel, uh, I felt some type of connection to, even though the channel is fairly new. So I, I just want to share that with you. Because maybe you are panicking or someone you know is panicking. And there are a lot of uh, lies being spread around right now, especially on the internet, because people have nothing better to do. And these lies come from people who, for some of them, are just having fun, making up stories to scare other people. Some of them are depressed or they're actually scared themselves and they want other people to feel like they do, so that they're not the only ones suffering. The current situation is not nothing, but it's not anything that we've never seen as a species. The current situation as it is, is still relatively up in the air. We don't really know where it's going. The only thing I want people to look at is that no one really knows when the number of cases is going to peak. No one can predict it. It's not possible. So for the people who look at Italy and then apply the numbers to the US, it doesn't work like that. You can't, you can't just replicate the same evolution of the disease and apply it to 350 million people. And especially because Italy is bearing China, who really don't really know what's going on there. Italy with Iran is the country that's been hit the worst. And they've been hit the worst because they have certain predisposition to be hit the worst. In Northern Italy, there have been a hundred thousand workers from Wuhan. If you don't believe me, if you think it's just conspiracy, go look it up. It's online. It's public knowledge. Those workers flew back and forth from Italy and Wuhan. Where do you think the disease came from? And why do you think Italy is hit the worst? Who are the people dying in Italy? Who are the affected? It's those people. But the media doesn't tell you that. They don't tell you 80% of the residents from Wuhan who live in northern Italy are sick. They say 80% of Italians are sick or they, they'll just throw a percentage. Why? They want clicks. They want views. The media has been dying for five years in the US, in Europe. They are desperate for an audience because their numbers are basically lower and lower every single day. So what do they do? They milk a crisis. Look at YouTube. YouTube is a microcosm of the media. It's the media in miniature. Look at what fitness YouTubers are doing. Look at what every single YouTuber is doing. Clickbait. They put the name of the virus in the title and then a random video that is going to give you zero information about it. Are they doing that because they want to help you? Are they doing that because they think it's going to actually improve the situation? No. They know it's going to create clicks and views and engagement. They don't care. As long as they can get your like and your one view, they're fine with it. And they don't care about the fact that they're actually scaring you and they're making the situation worse. So my advice, advice from a random guy, I'm not a doctor, but keep in mind that all of the posts you see online, all of the videos you see from the people, they're not doctors either. They're not in the midst of the situation. They have no intake. They have no inside information. The current situation is we're go we are going to go under quarantine in the US. It's inevitable. For how long? We don't know. A month, two months? We don't know about that. But what's important is how the situation is evolving. Measures have been put in place. All right. They've been put in place for weeks. Some people say, oh, the US was late to answer. Yes, relatively late, but not too late. And that's what you should keep in mind. The situation is not what the media is painting. It is not what you see online. It's not desperate. We are far from being in a desperate position. So if you want to actually be able to live a normal life under quarantine, stop consuming so much news. Stop going online and reading all those messages by random people, some of which are paid to spread panic. And just breathe. It's going to be okay. There's no need to panic. Panicking just makes it worse. We're prepared. So that's it. 
uh, as I said, maybe this video is going to be deleted. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to put a, a video of finger push-ups, but I did that instead. So yeah, it's a fitness channel, but with the current situation, I just wanted to address that. Let me know in the comments what you think, and that video might or might not be deleted in the future. Thank you.